Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to change brake pads in your car. We're doing it on uh, Honda Pilot. And so what you need is you need brake pads, your socket wrench, and you only, you only need a 12 millimeter socket for this car. And a All right, so the first thing you want to do is take off these two bolts, which are 12 millimeter and they hold the caliper onto the rotor. So you want to take these off first so you can get to your brake pads. So after you've loosened those two bolts, just take your caliper straight off and pull it straight off. And then you can either rest it somewhere on top of your rotor, or if you have some sort of cement block, you can put it on that too. Just make sure that your brake, your brake line isn't being pulled or else you could damage your brake line. So next thing you wanna do is actually remove your brake pads from your the bracket. And so you can just wiggle them out, but it's easier if you have a screwdriver. And you just pop them out like that. All right, so if you want to resurface your rotor or you're also changing rotors, the next thing you want to do is take these two bolts off, which take this bracket off. And then what you want to do is to get the actual rotor off. For, the, for Hondas, they always have these screws in here just to keep it in place. So you want to take these off. And then if the, if the rotor is actually stuck to your, your knuckle, then you can actually use these pinch bolts. You need to find the right bolts and you just twist them in evenly and it'll actually it'll force the rotor off of the hub off the, off the knuckle or what you can do the cheap way is you can take a rubber mallet and bang it against the back of the rotor really lightly and rotate it and keep banging it and it should pop off all right so the next thing you want to do is take your c-clamp and put your brake pad against the piston and what you want to do is basically just compress the piston back in so when you put your new brake pads in they'll fit without any problem. So what you can do is um, put brake grease or brake quiet on these shims before you put it into the rotor. I never do that and I never, I never had a problem. So if you wanna do that, you should put it everywhere in between each layer of the shim also and on the actual brake pad. And then you also wanna put it on these metal parts that are inside the brake bracket everywhere. And then put your brake, your brake pads uh, into the bracket. Also make sure that you have the same one because one has an indicator on it. So make sure you put the, you know, put the same one where it went before. So the last thing you want to do is put your caliper back on, put your two bolts that were holding the caliper back in and tighten them and then you were good to go.